the red-shouldered hawk in my neighborhood. Let's learn about the red-shouldered hawk. I often see this majestic bird in my neighborhood. Here it is sitting on a lamppost. You can identify the red-shouldered hawk by its rufous underwing coverts. It also has narrow light bands on its tail and reddish shoulders. Ah, a white-tailed deer on the grounds beside my condo. My camera doesn't just film deer, it also zooms in on red-shouldered hawks. The red-shouldered hawk in Maryland is a resident year-round. Populations of the hawk living in the orange areas on the map migrate south during the fall to spend the winter. Here you can see both the male and female red-shouldered hawks sitting together on a perch. The male on the right is smaller than the female. A pair of these raptors must be nesting somewhere in the woods near my condo. Perched on a thick branch, this red-shouldered hawk is scanning its surroundings for prey. When a red-shouldered hawk sees movement from the air or a perch, it dives down to capture its prey with its sharp talons. Here is the variety of prey our hawk is known to capture. This green frog has to stay alert night and day to avoid being a meal for the red-shouldered hawk. Red-shouldered hawks prefer lowland areas, especially near rivers and streams. They are diurnal, hunting during the day. But at the end of the day, the red-shouldered hawk clocks out and in comes the nocturnal barred owl who hunts throughout the night. Unfortunately, a green frog was unable to avoid the talons of this juvenile red-shouldered hawk. Red-shouldered hawks and red-tailed hawks are raptors that we call buteos that have a fan-shaped tail. Buteos soar on thermals which are columns of hot air that rise as high as a mile. Buteos glide on the thermals, riding from one thermal to the next. Here is a red-tailed hawk flying on the thermal. You can see its red tail clearly as it rises in the air. Red-shouldered hawks, when they soar, show translucent pale crescents across their wingtips. Listen to this juvenile red-shouldered hawk calling, Keyer, Keyer, Keyer. Blue jays are known to imitate the call. So therefore, I want to see the red-shouldered hawk before I put it on my bird checklist. I was able to creep up to this juvenile red-shouldered hawk. I observed the bird preening, and then it dove down to capture its prey. I do not know what the red-shouldered hawk captured. However, I was able to observe it feeding while it was perched on a log. One summer day, I came across these juvenile Cooper's Hawks. Cooper's Hawks, like red-shouldered hawks, are commonly found in suburban areas. Cooper's Hawks are a kind of accipiter or bird hawk. They have a long, narrow tail and can easily maneuver through the forest to capture birds. This one is feeding on what may have been a catbird.
Thank you for watching my Red Shoulder Talk video.